hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we have an amazing math question before us so the question says that let me read out the question a 20 meter long stick lies on a circular ring that is this stick it touches the inner circle the smaller circle and extends to the outer edge of the ring on both sides on both sides the question now is what is the area of the ring now the first thing we need to note is this area of a circle okay let's start from there all right now area of a circle is equal to pi r squared so that simply means that if we can get the area the radius of the smaller circle and the radius of the larger circle then our problem is half solved now to get the area of the ring let's call the area of the ring ar okay now area of the ring is equal to area of the big circle let's call area of the big circle a subscript b minus area of the smaller circle let's call it a with small s okay now area of the big circle minus area of the small circle now let's go back to this place let's get the radius since radius plays a bigger role in finding the area of this let's get the radius of the big circle and the radius of the smaller circle but before that let's write okay let's go to this place now the area the radius of the smaller circle remember that when you draw a line from the center to touch the circumference you have created a radius okay so that means that this is the radius of the smaller circle let's call it x now if we draw a line from the center to touch the circumference of the bigger circle we are going to get the radius of the bigger circle which is y okay so it simply means that the area of the ring will be equal to remember that area is pi r squared so it's going to be pi and the radius of the big circle is y so it's going to be pi y squared minus pi the radius of the small circle is x so pi x squared now let us come back to this place okay remember that from this place is the point of contact between this ring and this line so let us draw our radius from there okay so remember that from here to here we also give us x which is the smaller the uh, radius of the smaller ring the same thing will happen if we draw a line from here to touch this place this also is our y okay the radius of the bigger circle and we are going to form a a right angle here now let me explain why or let me draw out what we just created this before i explain why we have right angle there okay so if i should draw it out please give me some time okay now this is what we have this um this and um this okay all right oh this is not straight now from here you can see that we have this place as x and this place as y right and this is right angle now why is this a right angle remember that according to circle theorem okay that any tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact okay now a tangent is a straight line that touches a circle at just one point externally at one point now notice that this straight line touched this circle externally at just one point so it is a tangent and if we draw a line from the center to touch this particular tangent at its point of contact with the circle we form a right angle and that is why we have this right angle okay now note that from here to here is the center of this line so it means that this place from here to here will give us 10 meters okay so here we have 10 meters 10 meters okay now before we go ahead to solve this remember the pythagoras theorem according to pythagoras theorem if you have a right angle triangle okay this line that is facing the right angle is uh but is uh hypotenuse so let's call it h now let's call the remaining sides a b according to pythagoras a squared plus b squared will give us h squared now let's go back to this drawing from here you can see that our hypotenuse is y 
So we can write that y squared, okay, is equal to a squared plus b squared. That should be x squared plus y squared, okay? So, sorry, x squared plus 10 squared. So now we have x squared plus 10 squared, all right? So we have y squared is equal to x squared plus 10 squared is 100. Yes. Now, let's bring this to this side. To do that, let's subtract minus x squared from both sides. So we have y squared minus x squared is equal to x squared plus 100 minus x squared. So x squared minus x squared will give us 0. So that means that y squared minus x squared is equal to 100. Now, why are we getting this? Remember that the equation says we should find the area of the ring. Now, let's go back to the formula we deduced. Now, this is the area of the ring. Let's just see. Because when you look at this, you can see your y squared and x squared here. That means that if we factorize pi, if we factorize pi, pi y squared divided by pi will give us y squared minus pi x squared divided by pi will give us x squared. So you notice that the area of the ring, okay, area of the ring is also equal to pi multiplied by y squared minus x squared just like we found here okay that is the area of the ring now our pi is constant remember so we can write pi brackets but y squared minus x squared is 100 so we have 100 so that means that area of the ring is 100 pi okay but pi is approximately 3.142 so it means that the area of the ring is equal to 3.142 multiplied by 100. So the area of the ring is approximately equal to 314.2 square meter. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. 